Hi, good morning. I hope everyone's all right. Oh, what a wet and horrible day it is today. We're in the kitchen. It's me and it's um, Stephanie. Say hi, hi Stephanie. Yeah. The kitchen smells amazing because we've been cooking some of the muffins just to give the recipe a try out. And there's this wonderful smell of like ginger and sugar um, and sort of spices around. So it's everyone's remarking on it when they come into the kitchen. So let's get started. Today we are making carrot cake muffins. All right, it's nice to be back online. I hope that some people who tuned into the um, lives that we did on mindfulness earlier on this year are here, maybe. So this is our recipe. Here we are, carrot cake muffins. So we posted this online yesterday. This is what they should look like if we do what we're meant to do. There's some equipment that you'll need. It's not that much, to be honest. Hopefully it's what you might have already. Um, so it's a bowl, a muffin tray and some cases, a wooden spoon, a sieve, a grater and a wire rack. So, And then there's a method just on the back there, look, so you can do it step by step in your own time. So that's online. I posted that up yesterday, so hopefully you'll have that. We will need this because we've not made this, we only made this once this morning. So Stephanie's going to be my able helper. Um, we're going to preheat our oven. So our oven's going to turn up to 170 degrees. It's a fan oven, so that's why we're turning it up to 170. If it was uh, just a normal oven, then we would turn it just up to 190. So to get that pre-warmed up. So what we're going to do is we are going to first off mix the flour, the baking powder. So that's putting the dry ingredients in. Now we have ready, um, here's our flour here, self-raising flour. We need to, nearly made that mistake this morning, didn't we, Stephanie, yeah. with a plain flour? So I'll give that to you, Stephanie, if you would put that in. That's been pre-sieved. But to be honest, for this recipe, if you haven't got a sieve, it's, it's, it's not the end of the world, you know? Um, so that's it. And the baking powder. So, Stephanie, we need... Um, get your spoons. We need a teaspoon of baking powder. That's the white stuff there. Okay. So a teaspoon. That's a middle size one. That one? Uh, no, it's half a teaspoon. It's that one there. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Hi, Claire. Hi, Wilma. Hi, Alice. Thanks very much for joining us. I was Norma No Mates there for a while. Right, so what Stephanie's done there very cleverly, she's got, that's it, no, just one, that's lovely. Um, she's got a rounded teaspoon, so don't have it too heaped up, because that'll be almost two. You just want it rounded. So we're starting off with our dry ingredients. So we've got flour, baking powder. We're going to put some spices in now, so get your spoons again, Stephanie. We've got cinnamon to go in now. Two teaspoons of that, again, rounded. That's it, same one, lovely. She's two, please. Yeah, thank you. Seven. Yeah, this is terrible. This isn't. I'm not doing anything at all. Hi, Simone. Hi, Jeanette. Thanks for joining us. I hope everyone's all right. It's a really miserable day, isn't it? Has everyone got their Christmas trees up? We've not got ours up yet. We're resisting. Hi, Marie, Yvonne, and yeah. Stacy. Yeah, that's lovely. Two of those. I love the smell of cinnamon. Absolutely gorgeous when it's cooking. When. I used to help my dad cook. Yeah. We used to always make, and when we used to always bake, oh my god, we used to be like, did you? Just love this homemade fresh. Milk. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? fantastic hi susan thank you for joining us right so we've got cinnamon in and now we're doing ginger and it's just one teaspoon for the ginger stephanie right i'm just moving over here just just i don't want anything to burn in the oven so i'm just giving it a check background oh we're dead professional today yeah. um janice hi kitty and derek hi tina oh we've got a full house near that's fantastic right um so we put our spices in and some raisins so these are raisins now if you don't have raisins it's not a panic oh, yeah, you can awesome. get um you we had some old um dried fruit that we we use for our christmas cake we used that this morning or some currants any sort of sort of dried fruit um yeah just stick those straight in stephanie that's it this is what I call bung it all in recipe, really, um, for a muffin recipe. So what you use, rather than using a load of butter, you're using oil as the fat in it. Um, so really, when you're doing that, you're, you're relying on the chemical reaction in the baking powder and the flour to make everything rise. So you don't need to do all that creaming and, and beating for hours and hours. You're just literally mixing everything around. Hi, Willie. Hi, Elizabeth and Jean and Sharon. Oh, we've got loads of people. That's just fantastic. Right. 
get on with it too much talking sugar so we've got some dark brown sugar just in the middle there Stephanie that's it we've been really good and we've weighed everything out it just makes it a bit easier if you've got one of our recipe boxes then you'll have hopefully everything weighed out for you right so that's all our dry ingredients in lovely and that's it and give it a stir Stephanie knows everything's been weighed because she's weighed it all herself we've got the biggest wooden spoon today I don't know why we've got such a huge wooden spoon but anyway there we go so just give it a mix you're just mixing it round just so you don't get you know 10 raisins in one muffin just generally give it a good mix lovely now we've got to add some carrot now we used some carrots that we had at the back of the fridge that were gone a bit soft and dull one of them was really quite dull so I peeled that one um, the rest of them I just washed and grated um, that's it yeah just dump it right in Stephanie that's it Oh, she's doing really well. Well done, Stephanie. I feel really lazy here, just chatting away. Hi, Ishbel and Mary and Katie. Lovely to see you. Thanks for joining us this wet morning. Hi, Anod and Karen. Right, so next we just beat the eggs together. So you've got a couple of eggs there, Stephanie. So crack those and put them in the jar. In the jug, sorry. I've got my finger over the lens here, look. Hi, Heather. Hi, and Karen. Lovely, super, that's one in. So does everyone know how to crack an egg? You just bash it on the side and put your two fingers into it like Stephanie's doing and pull it apart and then you won't get loads of shell everywhere. We're gonna beat that up a little bit, just mix it round. It's just to combine it again, because you're still gonna mix it when you put it in the bowl. And then we're gonna add our vegetable oil or sunflower oil. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really, you could do it in an emergency, but I wouldn't really use an olive oil for this because olive oil has a particular taste to it. But you know what, in an emergency, if you're desperate for a muffin, you know, anything goes, it doesn't matter. Um, so we are looking at three tablespoons of oil, Stephanie. Okay. So that's the big one, the really big one, biggest one. That one, that one there, that one. I should say tablespoon, that's yeah. it. There's 15 mil in that. Right, there we go. Hi, Sandra and Debbie Ann and Trudy and Liz. Fantastic. Nice to see you on this wet day. So three tablespoons of sunflower oil into that, into the eggs. That's it. Yeah. Three. Lovely. And then also we need four tablespoons of water. Now we've been a bit naughty and tried to catch you out because that's in the ingredients, but it's not actually, actually in the method when I was making it this morning. I thought, why does it look so dry? So that's why. So just, yeah, you have to pay attention, show you're listening. So it's the water that goes in as well. Yeah, just pour it, pour it in there, Stephanie. We'll put all the wet ingredients together. Again, it doesn't really matter. Just give it a bit of a mix round. Lovely. beautiful that's fantastic right so now we just add it all together put it all in so literally like you can see it just is a bung it all in recipe it really is there's nothing to this at all yeah. lovely and then give it a stir with the most massive wooden spoon hi Tracy and Margaret and Angela now while um, Stephanie is stirring that it doesn't take much stirring but while she's stirring that all up um, I will, I'm going to talk to you about um, five a day because uh, when we did our recipe boxes, we asked people a few questions and we found that people are actually quite confused about what five a day is. And I think it is quite confusing. It can be quite confusing. So five a day. So what I'm talking about five a day, I mean that you're meant to have, if you can, five fruit or veg a day. So five in total. So it could be three veg and two fruit. Ideally, it'd be more than that. But it's five to aim for in terms of the NHS. So what I thought I'd do is I'd, I'd measure out what five a day is. So five a day is, is that it's 30 grams of dried fruit. So I've got 30 grams of currants here. So what's that about? Sort of a big handful of currants or dried fruit. Then it's, if you're chopping up melon, it's about that much of melon, so a small bowl of melon. Um, orange juice, now once a day you can count some fresh fruit juice but not cordial. So cordials don't count apparently, that's cheating. Um, about that much of orange, fresh orange juice. I don't know if you know all of this, but we just, some people were really quite confused. So I thought, right, well, we could clear this up. Um, 
And then about quite a lot, look at that, it's quite a bit of salad to count as one of your five a day. This is butternut squash. So again, that's quite a heavy vegetable, isn't it? So there's not that much that you need of that to count as one of your five a day. Um, and then oranges. So sasuma is just over one sasuma, how I measured it. Um, and don't forget that if you're doing packed lunches or anything like that, you can get these if, as long as they're in fruit juice. Um, so this is um, pineapple in fruit juice, in apple juice. So that would count as one of your five a day. Obviously bananas. Sprouts, who likes sprouts? I have to admit, sprouts are the only veg I'm not 100% about boiled. I like them in a stir fry though, so you could always do that. Hi Haley and Lynn and Anne and Margaret. So it's about five, six sprouts really, handful of sprouts. Same with your tomatoes. These are lovely little ones here. They taste really nice. So about a handful of tomatoes. A couple of small fruits, so like pears. If it's a tiny fruit, like an apricot, it would probably be about three. And anyone know what this is? Look, I'm testing you now. Anyone know in the comments what that is? Anyone know? It came in today in our food surplus. Does Anne know? Haley, Lynn, anyone know what that is? Right, I'll leave it, see if anyone can, see if anyone can guess. But probably nearly one of those would be a five a day because because you might not need eat actually all of it. Um, clue you'd roast it in the oven. Anyone know? Hi Dorothy, thanks for joining us. Right, how's Stephanie getting on? Oh, you've done really well. That's great. So it didn't take that long. You know, if you've got an electric mixer, you could use an electric mixer. We've just set Stephanie on with the massive wooden spoon. Um, Yes, your hands, you're right now. Now, don't claim for an injury. So, now if you notice that mixture, it does look quite wet, but don't panic. Ah, well done, June. Glad you're paying attention. It is, that's right, that's fennel. So, it tastes a bit of aniseed. Um, so, even though we're making cakes today, we're still trying to be quite good. These cakes are not as bad for you as some cakes might be. So, we've got um, carrots in there. So, carrots are full of fiber and antioxidants, um, which are Antioxidants are things that counter um, free radicals in your body, so they're sort of potentially cancer-causing um, free radicals. Antioxidants help against those. Um, vitamin A. Hi, Magpie Mac. Vitamin A is really good for... I don't know if you remember your mum saying about your eyesight. Vitamin A is... Um, is can actually... Is, it, it really is... can be quite good for your sight, really. It's not a total um, wives' tale. It can help against night blindness, a condition that causes night blindness. Um, and it, you know, it is really good for you. Vitamin K, it's got in it as well. Um, also, carrots are a local vegetable. Um, we grow them at Belleville. Um, they're easy to grow. So that means you don't have to pay um, for, for carrots that have traveled from miles away. And also in terms of the planet as well, you know, we're, we're looking to try and reduce food miles as much as we can. Hi Gary, hi Heather. Yeah, it does look nice, doesn't it? it smells really, I wish we could have smell a vision because it smells really nice too. So, I remember when I go was on. a little girl. Yeah. And my mum used to eat vegetables. Did you? Yeah. And my mum used to always say to me, carrots are good for you, it will help you get big and strong, it will help you see Yeah, that's things. it, that's it. And it's not a lie, it's not, a, it's not an all, a complete lie. So I'm going to bring over for Stephanie, so I actually do something rather than just talking. I'm going to bring over the muffin cases and it does but don't panic it's all right because it looked like that this morning didn't it It was absolutely yeah. fine these muffin ones they do look a bit watery but it's absolutely fine the thing about baking though is um i don't like following instructions at the best of times particularly when i'm cooking i like to go a bit free form but with baking i think it is a, you do need to follow the the ingredients the recipe a bit more you have to have the right quantity of dry and wet ingredients and the right quantity of raising agents otherwise you could go a bit wrong that's when you start to get your cake sinking in the middle and that sort of thing oh hi laura and johnza hi there right so what we're going to do is get two spoons stephanie oh she's great well done that's it get all that off lovely and what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the mixture try not to make mess but you know what if you're cooking you make a bit of mess it doesn't matter does it we're going to try and transfer it all into that's it into the cases can you manage all right that's yeah. it two spoons that's a great method so lovely and we'd probably put about sort of three quarters of the mix in each case 
So if your mixture is running like this, it's fine. If it's a bit dry, that's also fine. Um, you know, just means that you'll have a slightly wetter or slightly drier muffin. Doesn't matter at all. So I don't know anyone's welcome. If you've got any questions, if, if we've not made sense at all, just put a message in the chat box and we will endeavour to answer any questions. What we might do next week, because um, we're on again next week, um, next next Friday, what we might do is try to get some more fruit and veg as well so people know what you know the five a day is. Because like I said, it did seem that it was quite confusing for people. So we're transferring all the mixture over. That's fine, lovely. Very good. Right. So we won't wait around um, poor Stephanie. We'll leave Stephanie on with that. And then I'll start to talk about what you do when the cakes come out of the oven. Here we go. So here are some we just made earlier and they have just come out of the oven and they smell really good. We've got um, we've got a slightly burnt one here, but we'll just ignore, we'll just, I'll put my hand like that, we'll just ignore that. But the rest of them, look, look, they look quite good, don't they? So you can either have them like that, you know, they've got raisins in, they've got, you know, quite a lot of interest in there. Um, normally with a carrot cake, what you might do is put a cream cheese icing on it, but that's quite, that's quite thick, isn't it? Hi, Anne-Marie and Zoe, Michelle and Stephanie and Jean. I, I think it can be quite a lot, really, and it's, you know, quite calorific. So what we thought we might do is do a bit of a drizzle on them, and I'll show you how to do that. This is some icing sugar I've got here. You can see just a bit of ice and sugar. I haven't particularly weighed it out, to be honest. I probably should have done, but anyway. What we're going to do is, um, you can use water and ice and sugar, and that's very good. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze some juice of a citrus fruit in it. So we just had these hanging around. They've gone a bit soft, so no one wants to eat them. So we're going to use them for that rather than wasting them. So just put a bit of, you don't need much. You don't need much water or, or juice. I'm doing like one-handed cookery here. Hope everyone's bearing with us. So I'm just gonna get a spoon to mix them around with. So I'm just giving it a little mix. Now you've got to mix it, take your time, mix it quite well because um, the ice and sugar does want to come a wee bit lumpy. So you just keep going, persevere with it. Hi Engis, hi Lindsay. Thanks for joining us today. Has anyone else got any particular muffin type recipes that they that they like? Because these muffins, you don't just have to add carrot. You know, if you had some apples left over, you could add those. Um, what else? You could add even a courgette. I've done courgette and lemon muffins before. That's quite nice. Um, you could add other things. You could add nuts as well. We had some walnuts left over that we were thinking about using, and we didn't in the end. Right. I don't know about this one-handed cookery. Here we go. That'll do. So there are a few more lumps in there than ideally I'd like, but it's not the end of the world. So I've got it so it's still quite runny, so it's enough so it can just drizzle over the muffins. So let's move over here, and this is where I make a big old mess. So here we go. So I've got some of this, and you just drizzle it, drizzle it over. And what happens, that'll set, and you'll get a tanginess of the oranges of those sasumas, as well as um, you know the sweetness of the icing sugar. But if you've not got that much of a sweet tooth, then you don't need to, you know, you don't need to bother with this step. Just up to you, really. Sometimes just a little sprinkle of icing sugar does the trick. But that's quite nice. It just adds something to it. A bit of drizzle on the top. Oh, Jess, yes. Banana and chocolate chips. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. That's a nice one. Yeah, we'll have to try that one time, actually. We've got a few chocolate chips left over, I've spied, and some really mushy-looking bananas. Hi, Lynn. I'm glad you like the look of them. They're really easy, honestly. We've not managed to go too far wrong today. Um, so I think that's, that's it from us today. Um, so we've had a look at how we can use different ingredients in the kitchen, like that are left over, like carrots, and maybe leftover apples, and, and soggy orange, you know, soft oranges, and use them up to make this recipe. And it's really simple. Like I said, it's a bung it all together recipe. You don't have to faff around doing lots of different stages. Get everything in and mix it up really well, and, um, and cook it. Now, when you put it in the oven, if you finish that, Steph, do you want to, do we do a last shot of putting them in the oven? Well done, she's done really well today. That's it. So it's going in, like we said, we've got a fan oven, so it goes in 170. Do you want to get your um, 
that's it. That's it, lovely bee. Someone's given us a pair of, of, of bee mittens here to put in the oven, oven gloves. That's it, let's watch we put it in, lovely. There we go, that's it, good stuff. And you cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes. Keep an eye on it though, because it's not good if it, like, like we've burnt ours here. Look at this one, it's a bit wee bit burnt, so don't do that like we've done. Um, how to test when it comes out, it'll start to smell really nice. Your kitchen will start to smell really like cinnamon. That's a one sign that it's starting to be ready. Then I've just got a little a cocktail stick or a kebab stick and just poke it in. And if it comes out all clean, it's ready as well. Um, but do enjoy that, have a taste of them and um, take care and bye from Stephanie. Bye. Oh, <laughs> have a lovely weekend. Bye from myself. Take care, you all. All right, bye.